nothing would live that lives. Every planet in its orbit and every cell in its course is a witness to the love of Allah and the sign of his wisdom. Keep this love inside you and live with it all the time because the moment you lose it, you lose yourself. You lose him. This is your message from your beloved Allah if you know who speaks with you. I am the love. I am the wine. Drink this wine to know me well. As you drink, I ask you, beloved, to listen with the deep ear of the presence of Muhammad. May the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him within you, in which you are one of his people. Be with me in all your senses and prepare to receive wisdom from within your heart, which is bound to his heart, having been annihilated in the overwhelming love of your essence. The language of speaking is inadequate to reveal this teaching. And also the language of body, heart, and soul are not high enough. Listen to the tongue of God's caring, because if he did not care, he would not be calling you now. For that reason, he speaks to you by means of the tongue of his love for you, saying, O oh, you who believe, Dearly beloved, who believes in everything that has been revealed to your heart, all of the meanings of the knowledge of truth which you have come to realize and embrace, be with me in everything that I want from you in the way of knowledge. If you don't listen, you will have lost the chance to see me and the advantage of my wisdom and the secrets of my love which you must know and which you cannot live without. I mean by life that you live for my sake and I live for yours. Then you shall be mine and I shall be yours. When one is in this state, he is prostrate before his beloved in the Qibla of love and he is annihilated in his beloved so as to remain beloved by him. This is the meaning of the term absolute eternal life. The two are annihilated in each other so that both will remain beloved of the other. It is here that I say, he who loves me knows me, and he who knows me finds me. He who finds me becomes inflamed by my passion. I have killed him so that I may bring him back to life. And he whom I have killed, I owe him a debt. And to the one that is owed, I become that which is owed. There is no difference between me and him, because I am he and he is I. So for the one who loves me in this fashion, it is imperative that he truly tastes the fire of my passion. This fire is not a fire of the senses. It is light upon light. It is light issuing like the fire of Moses when he stood on the mountain of Atajali. This refers to the revelation, the supreme eternal power of the constant uninterrupted connection between Moses and God. It is the same fire which issues from the lights of God to all his lovers, and through the perfected ones, al-insan al-kamal, who carry the presence of the reality of the love, the essence, which is inherent in everything. From this love is extended all of the species of animals and birds and all creatures, like a network of electrical wiring and it is for this reason that I say, this fire is the electricity of love. No one knows it except the one who is immersed in the flow of its currents. And I would like you to be one of those people who forever swim in the ocean of this love, not only swimming therein, but drinking of its wine. Its wine absents one from all things except the one in whose passion he is inflamed. 
And by wine, I mean his return to the reality from where he came. So know, beloved, that the basis of love is knowledge, and the basis of knowledge is existence. This is the station of ascension by means of love. As one knows and becomes known, he finds and becomes found. He has come to know and has come to love. Then he comes to love higher than that, and he comes to know with a higher knowledge, and he finds that he exists in a higher existence. As for the station of descent, it is not really descending. Verily, its possessor stands on the summit of divine existence. One who is inflamed in passion and slain by the one in whose passion he is inflamed becomes the one who owes and he becomes that which is owed. Therefore, the station of ascension teaches him about existence, and the station of descent makes him realize that he is existence and none other, and there is nothing contained in existence except a love. Understand, my beloved, that the station of ascension is a path that has two dimensions, the human being and God, and each of these is distinguishable. And as for the station of descent, it is the absolute truth. When all the senses disappear from a person and he is slain by the one in whose passion he is inflamed, he is finished with all the worlds. The image of the human being disappears from him and he reverts to his initial reality. He returns to where he was in pre-eternity without method or dimension, without color or form, without sex, male or female, and know that his reality is the reality of God. For this reason, he who loves me by means of the veil of my image knows me by means of my knowledge that is my image. And he who knows me by means of my knowledge that is my image, finds me in his image by means of my image. Then he who finds me in his image by means of my image becomes inflamed in my passion by means of my reality. And he who becomes inflamed in my passion by means of my reality is slain by my reality. And whoever is slain by my reality, my reality is the one who owes him. Whomever my reality owes, there is no difference between him and my reality. This is the consumption in the fire of the divine reality, which fire does not touch. When one has become inflamed in passion in this station, he becomes light upon light and a guiding light that reveals the way to people, outwardly to those who look without, and inwardly to those who look within. Thus God, who is the perfect person, al Insan al Kamal, who has become myself, guides whom he will, and that one is himself. That is to say, when he arrives at the truth, he realizes that he is the truth, and the truth is only known by truth. O oh, you who love, and you who yearn in passion, do you not know who he is, the perfected one who bears the image of absolute love which has no beginning or end? His reality is your reality. By means of this, you realize that you are the one to whom you seek, the one whom you seek, and you are renewed in eternal life, after which there is no death. Understand.